Hello again, Karen, back here with you for another video. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about some affirmations that I love, and I hope that you find one here that um, you can use as well, or that really resonates with you, or you get a couple of ideas um, how you can create an affirmation that really serves you as well. So before I get started sharing five of my favorite affirmations that I either currently use or have used in the past, one thing that I do want to share with you about affirmations is <clears throat> when you are doing your affirmation work or saying your affirmations, you want to keep it really light. You want your energy to feel really effortless with it because you can be saying an affirmation of something that you want, but it's coming from a real like forced energy or frustration energy and that's kind of counterproductive. So I wanted to share that one little tip with you before we get started with today's video. Um, let me know if you're here watching. Um, drop me a, let's say, a star um, on the chat because we're all about putting what we want out into the universe and um, letting it come back to us. So uh, I'm going to share with you five affirmations that I have used over the years. Some of them I still use today um, to help me create the inner self-image, the inner belief systems, um, and also create the results that I really want. Awesome. Lovely to have you all tuned in. So the first one that I want to start with is such a basic one, and, but it's really, really powerful. And it's as simple as this. I am prosperity. So what you're doing with um, an affirmation like this is you're defining a foundational concept for yourself. So rather than talking about, in this instance, the conditions of prosperity, you're, you're defining that you are. That is who you are vibrationally. That is who you are as a base. And so therefore, the more you get into this and the more you understand this, then you must attract the conditions, circumstances and results that are a match for prosperity. So that's a really simple one. I am prosperity. Also, you can do that affirmation with any other statement. So you might like to say, I am confidence or um, I am abundance or I am powerful, um, whatever you like, you can add on with that. So let me know if you like that one. Um, let's call that number one. The second one that also is a great base, and this is something that you really want to allow for yourself and understand, and we probably don't have time to really go into the energy behind or the meaning behind this affirmation, but it's an excellent one that you can use, and it is this, I am, again, um, defining that state for yourself, I am a rich, wealthy woman. So if your goal is to um, improve your profitability, grow your income, to feel happier, to feel healthier, you want to remember that when you're defining the state of I am a rich, wealthy woman, you must attract um, the conditions and circumstances. You must become the conditions and circumstances that are a match for that, which does include money. Being rich and wealthy isn't just about money. It is about being rich and wealthy in all areas of your life. So attracting what you want in all areas of your life. So that could be business, um, clients, relationships, all kinds of different things. So that's a really, really good one, but it also helps you to accept for yourself um, and affirm that you are a rich, wealthy woman. And when you believe that, you must become it. Got it? That's number two. Let me know if you love number two. Um, number three is one that I used, um, I don't use this as much anymore because it's already such a deep belief within myself, but it's one that I used, a, 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 I don't know, three, four or five years ago, particularly when I was really building my coaching business and moving out of, I had a branding and design business into being the coach, the mentor, the facilitator. And so I use this affirmation to really strengthen um, my belief in myself and how, um, how the transformation of information and wisdom, um, works. So it's this, I am so happy and grateful now that I am aware that I am the source through which others experience greater good. So this is also a helpful affirmation. Like if you're in sales or you get worried that you're trying to get from somebody else, you've got to come back to universal law with this and really understand um, the cycle of law of cause and effect and understand that 
the energy, the spirit flows through you first. And when you make that good, when you make those thoughts and energy good, then others benefit from that. So maybe you love that affirmation and that affirmation could serve you well. I am so happy and grateful now that I'm aware that I am the source through which others experience greater good. Um, Add that one in if you are an entrepreneur, a business owner, a leader, anything, um, even just with your family and your children, um, you will that will be a huge benefit to you, that one. So let's call that number three. Number four is an affirmation that um, actually uh, Bob Proctor gave to me many years ago. I was crying on his shoulder in the back of a conference room. I think I had a like 100K in outstanding um, invoices and, you know, I was really like, why is this happening to me? Yada, yada, yada. And he gave me this affirmation and it's, it's something that if ever I find myself getting drawn into circumstances or if you ever find yourself getting caught up in the news or circumstances or COVID um, or other people's rubbish, you can use this affirmation as well and you just want to make it a part of you and that not only do you say these words, but this is how you show up and it's this. I am so happy and grateful now that I let everything in my life flow free and easy. I only focus on those things that serve me towards my greatest good. Isn't that beautiful? Let me say it again. I am so happy and grateful now that I let, let being the key word there. If you're writing this out, you want to put that in capitals and underline it. Now that I let everything in my life flow free and easy, because actually that's the way it should be. I only focus on those things that serve me towards my greater good. So that's a really important um, sentence because there is so much going on in your life right now, noise, people, circumstances that actually don't serve your greater good. It's not to do with your goal. It's not to do with who you want to become. It's just noise. It's just drama. So don't focus on it. Train yourself with the mental discipline to not focus on it, to not get emotionally involved with it. It's as simple as that. So you can write out that affirmation. Um morning and night, say it repeatedly, put it up on the fridge, whatever you want to do with it, it works really, really well to help you relax, to receive, and to only focus on those things that serve you towards your greatest good. So that's number four. Let me know if you love number four. Um, Even if you're on the recording, let me know in the comments. Number five is a uh, really simple one. It's actually to do with money. And I really use this, uh, again, not so much today because I am already, But definitely many years ago when I was working on my money paradigm, my um, self-image and self-worth paradigm, and it's this, I am a magnet for money. I love money and money loves me. So um, it's a very simple one, but again, it's very powerful defining um, how you feel about money and how money feels about you. Because the truth is money is like a friend. And if you can begin to think of money like a friend and be a good match for it and enjoy it and love it and look after it and do nice things with it, then I promise you more of it will come to you. Um, if you're scared about money, if you're worried that you won't know what to do about it, if you think that you're not a great money manager, if you think that money is hard to come by, then I promise you that is how it's going to play out in your life. So that is a very powerful little simple affirmation that I created many years ago for myself. It were, has worked very well for me, um, making me very comfortable with being successful, a uh, successful, rich, wealthy woman. Um, I love money and money loves me. Uh, I'm a magnet for money. You can affirm those things for yourself and um, really, yeah, enjoy enjoy money. Enjoy earning it, enjoy spending it, enjoy giving it away. Be really light and free and fun with money because I promise you that's how you attract more of it. When you hold on so tight, like we all know, you know, those people who just cling so tight, you kind of don't want to spend a lot of time with them, right? But when it's fun and it's free and it's light, you want to bring all your friends around to be with this person. If you can start to think of money like that, we could do a whole other video. Let me know if you want a whole other video on that. Um, Then you will notice your whole relationship and mindset around money will change and you'll begin to allow much more of it to flow into your life easier. I love teaching and coaching on that. So um, it's been life changing for me. Anyway, uh, I digress. Um, I hope you've really enjoyed these five affirmations. Um, Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite or which one you think you might like to use. Remember, number one was I am prosperity. 
Number two was I'm a rich, wealthy woman. Number three was um, I'm so happy and grateful. Uh, now that I'm aware, I am the source through which others experience greater good. Number four was I'm so happy and grateful now that I let everything in my life for, flow free and easy. I only focus on these things things that serve me towards my greatest good. And number five was, uh, I'm a magnet for money. I love money and money loves me. So let me know in the comments, which one, um, one to five you really loved. And, um, please comment on this video, uh, share it with a friend, um, follow me, uh, switch on notifications in this group. It all helps. Um, have a great day. I'm Karen Brooke. Bye for now.